Wing Air enables accurate location of shooters. Provides 360 degree coverage, day or night. This year, Boeing comes to the Farnborough International Air Show with the 7879 test airplane. It's been four years since Boeing's 7878 made its international debut at the 2010 Farnborough Air Show. Eleven years ago, Boeing set up a team of executives to design and sell a new airplane, then dubbed the 7E7, but the 787's ride into service and beyond hasn't been an easy one. The first sign of trouble came in May 2006, when Boeing said parts of its global supplier network won't be ready when the first 787s come together in just over two years. Issues with the supplier network continued to cause headaches for Boeing executives throughout the 787 program, which saw the worst delays to a jet program in the company's history. Despite the many setbacks and delays to the flight test schedule behind the scenes, Boeing continued to press ahead with its public campaign. In July 2007, the first assembled 787 was rolled out in front of 15,000 employees and customers at Everett. But the aircraft was essentially an empty shell and required extensive completion. The 787 finally took to the air in December 2009, two and a half years behind its original schedule. The Dreamliner then entered commercial service in October 2011 when launch customer All Nippon Airways made its first passenger flight from Narita to Hong Kong. But ANA was just one of a number of carriers to experience battery issues on the 787, an issue so significant that it resulted in the worldwide grounding of the fleet, a grounding that lasted three months. Since returning to commercial service, Boeing has progressed the 787 and its derivatives. The 787-10X was formally launched last year at the Paris Air Show with more than 100 orders and commitments. And the Boeing 787-9, which will make its debut at the Farnborough Air Show this year, made its maiden flight last September. <laughs>